people, it's Joe, the weekend warrior from Spartan's YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna share on passing in transition or passing to an open teammate at the other end of the floor. We're gonna point out on the, the more important points to execute a good outlet pass or a good pass ahead to your teammate. The main goal is to make sure that the ball is transferred from one player to the other as quickly as coordinated at its most effective way possible. First, make sure that the ball handler pass the ball. It has to be delicate in opposed to being coarse or rough or reckless with the ball. You would prefer uh, the receiver to be able to catch the ball in a more delicate manner and when you recognize the situation where it's a transition, your job as a passer is to make sure the ball is in a nice condition. When you pass the ball, you have to flick your wrist as in to shoot, as in to rotate the ball. The receiver will be able to visualize the rotation of the ball from in the air and estimate the time and power uh, to be able to catch and receive the ball in a more delicate and effective way and not lose the ball there. The second way is the passer can try to make sure that the pass lands on the ground on one bound. The chances of the receiver to catch the ball will be higher with that one, one bound. The passer you have to make sure that that one bounce is not too far to the baseline or not too near to the sideline if the ball lands uh, a bit too far or a bit too near or a bit too strong or a bit too soft it will not be a good pass it's that precise it has to be that right amount the receiver must play an important part um, in the transition offense the receiver must be facing and must be knowing which direction to go, must be steady, must be ready, must, be, must anticipate. If the receiver were to be running or be moving from the sides, the ball will be more likely to land in space inside of the court and then outside. And it will not be an out of bounds and turnover of that possession. And the last point I would like to add is that the whole team the passer, the receiver should understand the condition of the ball. If the ball is the type that is slippery when it's wet, the players should recognize the situation and do not uh, force the action too much. They shouldn't rush too much, they should slow things down.